Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so today in this video, we're going to talk about subdomain enumeration and, and the takeover vulnerability and how that works. And, and in case you don't know, so what is a subdomain takeover refers? It refers to a security vulnerability that occurs when a, a subdomain like, for example, like code repo.hacker101vids.com um, points to a service like GitHub. A github repository um, and let's say for example um, i had that github repository set up and then i deleted it right and but i didn't delete the subdomain it's still there and it still points to that github repo so this is the vulnerability people forget that they have these dns dns records and they don't clean those up and they still point to old resources that no longer exist and you know what an, an attacker can do is they can go to GitHub and recreate my account with the same name since it's been deleted, you know. In most cases, you're gonna. Have, this has to have, wait a few months before, you know, after the account's deleted before it'll be available again. But you know, it it can happen. So an attacker can go back and recreate my GitHub account, and then you know, code repo dot hacker one hundred one vids dot com now points to a valid GitHub page, right? And then from there, you know, we we can, um, you know, we take over that subdomain. So um, that is that is the vulnerability and how it works. And I, there's a few tools um, that you'll use um, to scan domain names for um, subdomains. And then there's a tool that we'll use that will check these subdomain names to see if they're if they are pointing at any known third-party services like github or azure or amazon s3 and i will show you how to use these tools all right but before we get started i'm teaching you this for educational purposes only for you to use with a client someone that, that is going to pay you to perform a security audit for them this is not to be used to go out and try and steal someone's domain name and take over and take over their subdomain name so you don't want to do anything illegal. All right. So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and load up Kali Linux. Um, if you have have a latest version of Kali Linux installed, you're already going to have the um, you're going to have the first tool installed. Let me log in. And the first tool we're going to use is a tool called Amass, and it's a tool from OWASP. If you haven't heard of OWASP, but you know they're they're the um, you know they're all about the internet security stuff. So you need to learn about OWASP. But let's just go look up this tool. It's called Amass. All right, so we're gonna type in Amass GitHub. And we're gonna to go to the OWASP um, pay, GitHub page for Amass. So, all right, so it, it's the first link here. And you see that Amass is, is a, um, a huge tool for reconnaissance. It's for you to, you know, find things like subdomains, but much more. Um, we're going to use this for um, subdomain enumeration, but it's capable of a lot more. So, um, yeah, read up on Amass. Um, I'm going to show you how to install it in case you do not have it installed. So we'll scroll down. And let's go click on the installation guide. And then, you know, I'm in Kali Linux. It's already installed, but I'll show you the steps. You'll scroll down to here, Kali. So we're going to do an apt get update. So let's do sudo su. So we, get, we need to be root. All right, let's do apt dash get update. Okay. All right, and now we want to do apt get and install a mass and like i said i've already got it installed so it's going to tell you that it's installed all right so a mass is installed and the second tool i want to um, install is a tool called takeover so let's go back to um to um, firefox and let's do type in takeover github And it is the first one right here, subdomain takeover vulnerability scanner. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down. So this this is going to this takeover subdomain takeover scanner 
what it's going to do, it's going to check to see if that subdomain name is pointed at any of these third-party services like AWS, um, you got CloudFront, all these services. And if that subdomain points at any of these services and the account doesn't exist, it's going to show you, hey, this used to point to, say, GitHub, and now the account is not there anymore. So you can potentially take over by creating a new GitHub account and taking over this subdomain. So this is pretty easy to install. So the first command is git clone. We're going to clone this. All right. All right, and we're going to do cd takeover. We're going to change in that directory. And let's go the next command. We're going to run the install. And you need to make sure you're in sudo. So python3 setup.py install. Make sure you're root. All right, I already have this installed, so everything's, or no, I didn't have it installed. So it installed everything we needed. All right, at this point, um, we have both tools installed. All right, so the first thing we wanna do, I wanna clear the screen. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan my website, my domain name, um, to see if there are any subdomains. And when you run this scan, all right, you wanna type in, so we're gonna use a mask to check for subdomains. So let's type a mask. And then we'll type space enum. That's for enumerate. And then dash D for domain. And I'm going to put hacker101bids.com. And we're going to hit enter. All right. This is going to take a while. It is going to scan through and try to find every subdomain that is on hacker101bids.com. And for, for the purpose of this video, I have already ran this in the other tab here. So uh, what it came back after it finished, um, it, you see we have code.hacker101vids.com. We got www.hacker101vids.com and then hacker101vids.com, right? So, you know, if I were to copy this, all right, that's a valid web page. If I were to copy this, And paste it here that's a valid page right but if we go here code we put that in we get a 404 and we notice it's a github 404 and when you're doing when you're trying to take over a subdomain you want to get a 404 or some sort of error message because that says the domain, the subdomain name is pointing at a service that is no longer exists, or it's not working right, or something. You know, it's it's not no longer exists. So this means we could go in and create a, um, you know, a new GitHub account and possibly take over the subdomain. But I want to further show you how to use the takeover tool um, to check to see if this uh, if this subdomains if they are using third-party services that I showed you on the takeover page. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a um, text file called domains.txt. I'm going to paste these in here. I'm going to save it. And now we're going to we're going to run the takeover tool. Um, so um, to do that, we're going to type in Python 3 takeover. Oh, we need to change into the takeover directory first. I'm sorry. And we actually need to create this um, domains.txt. So cd takeover. And let's do nano domains.txt. Let's type in um, our domain, our um, subdomains. All right. And now um, we're going to type in python3 takeover.py. And then we're going to type in dash L for list and domains dot text. And we want to be verbose. All right. So what this is going to do, it's going to run the takeover tool. It's going to check any of those. Let me go back to the takeover page. It's going to check any of these services to see if there was, if those subdomains point to any of these services, right? So we're going to hit enter. And we're going to see that it found that GitHub 
services. It says the GitHub services found, potential domain name takeover, code.hacker101vids.com. It points at GitHub, but the page, the site, the GitHub site does not exist, right? Okay, so that means whoever, you know, owned, set up this subdomain, when they deleted their GitHub page, they forgot to remove the subdomain. So that's the vulnerability, right? So let's do um, dig. And we're going to take a look at this um, code.hacker101bids.com. This way we can see the DNS. And if you look, and here's the C name record, right? Here is the GitHub page. So what you would do now is you would go to GitHub and try to create an account named hacker101vids.com. And if you can successfully do that, then you now are able to take over code.hacker101vids.com, right? So that is how you do subdomain enumeration and you can exploit the subdomain takeover vulnerability. All right, so with that being said, if you're creating, you know, subdomain names for your business or for your clients or whatever, or for work, you know, if you, if you remove the services, make sure you clean up your DNS. It's important because you can uh, be victim to this. And, and this example is just one example. Like, you know, it could have been a members page that was um, once upon a time lived on a subdomain that no longer exists that I could recreate. And then I could trick people to come in and I could steal their passwords and whatnot. There's, there's a whole lot of things you could do with this um, subdomain takeover. Um, but this gives you an example of how to scan a domain for sub, subdomains and then how to use the takeover tool to see if those subdomains were utilizing any of those third-party services um, that takeover tool covers. All right, so I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, and I will make you guys a new video. All right, thanks.